This is my first time in Latvia, um, and I would enjoy it a lot more if I didn't quite have this head cold, but um, I, I was snapping a few photos even in the taxi on the way into the city. I, I've been given a list of things that I should try and uh, see while I'm here, and I'm not going to have any time, which means it's on my list to come back. Okay, that's but, nice. But if this is the temperature already in October, I'm going to make sure I'm not coming back in you know, December or January. Okay? So it gets to minus 25 Celsius. Excellent. A couple of days. In Thank you. So. From from Australia, where we're used to minus twenty five degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, is the conference this conference important, and why? I think this is very important. This this conference, the the DSS ITSEC uh, conference, really is about bringing together the community to have a conversation around the important issues around cybersecurity, um, and we've just been discussing how. There are many conferences which are really a lot of uh, information and product information being handed over to an audience. This is really more of a discussion. Uh, so it's great to see that a community of, of speakers and a community of audience members coming. So uh, today you're here to present in some words about what's in, about the artificial intelligence uh, the IBM is creating, and uh, maybe some pros and cons about artificial intelligence as such. Okay, so it's, a, it's an interesting question about creating artificial intelligence. And at IBM with Watson, what we're aiming for is what we call specific artificial intelligence, meaning we're, we're creating a solution and we're training a solution to do specific tasks and specific roles. For instance, um, assist with data management, uh, assist with uh, information exploration, um, assist with specific industries like healthcare, right, so that we can provide better um, you know, personalized treatment options for cancer patients. The other side of AI development is more general artificial intelligence, and that's a route other people are going down. And that's someone described uh, to me more as the Skynet right, type of AI. Right? It, it will know everything and do everything. That's not what Watson is, that's not what IBM is looking for. What other things Watson does like today? Well, um, we went through a number of scenarios, but uh, healthcare was one of our first industry solutions. Um, and we partnered with the medical expertise uh, in the field. So um, organizations like uh, Sloan Kettering Memorial Hospital uh, to teach Watson about the medical language and, and understand medical imagery, etc teach it about cancer, and then fed it as much information as we could about um, uh, clinical trials, uh, treatment outcomes, uh, genetic markers, and how that would affect a treatment course, etc. So in that specific example, Watson provides the ability to absorb all of the information that is there and provide the right information through to the doctors who are going to make the treatment decisions. Now that's one example, and we're very big into healthcare, uh, but um, we have solutions to provide assistance with uh, customers coming into organizations to get information. Uh, we call that the engagement advisor. We have solutions for uh, doing security analysis. That's currently in beta, and we're doing some work here in, uh, in Europe with beta customers around that. Uh, most, of our, most of our focus is industry-based and industry expertise-based. Okay. And uh, so what about security issues uh, with, with an AI, maybe particularly with Watson, can it be hacked and what then? <laughs> well, that's a very great question and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to say something can or can't be hacked. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, we're, what we're aiming for with Watson cybersecurity is not to provide some automation tool that creates the security, but a tool to help the security analysts, the experts in the field, uh, do their jobs better and faster. So uh, as an example, um, there's about 10 million lines of blog data on security blogs, right, published almost every day. Now, no security person, no security analyst, no human being could possibly read all of this information. Right? So Watson is excellent at ingesting vast amounts of information, unstructured, could be blogs, could be screenshots of a, of a vulnerability, right? uh, it could be an audio from a podcast, and 
then searching through all of that information and answering questions of an analyst. So an analyst can get to the real information that they need faster, more accurately. Okay. So on the last question, can Watson be finished in, I don't know, 100 years, 200 years, or is it an endless journey? It's, it's a journey, absolutely. Watson is always learning. And the, the elements of this cognitive computing, the fact that it can understand data and relationships, the fact that it can reason, make hypotheses and test them and come up with answers. But the third element is learning. So every time a Watson solution arrives at an answer or interprets a question, it learns from its outcome and it can improve the next outcome. So the more information we feed it, the more outcomes we generate through our Watson solutions, the more it learns and the more it can and offer our clients. Okay, thank you, that's it. And maybe some wishes to all the viewers and I don't know, guys in cybersecurity. Well, um, I've just heard that uh, ransomware and uh, cybersecurity, a uh, cybercrime, um, if capitalized, is now the second largest market cap organization between Apple and ExxonMobil. So if you don't think cybersecurity affects you, if you don't think it plays an important part in our daily lives, in our company lives, in our government and, and uh, uh, country lives, think again.